So yesterday Capcom randomly tweeted out that they are having an open beta and it's going to run from May 19th to May 21st. And it's the same exact build from December. So it's eight characters, no balance changes. They said there will be balance changes to the final game. But for this beta, it's the exact same one from December, which is completely fine and understandable after the whole uh, crack the beta debacle, right? They don't want to put out all the characters and then have somebody crack it again. And then everybody's playing for another three weeks. With that said, I know it's going to be a lot of your first times actually getting to play the game online and not just the demo. So I wanted to give you a few tips and kind of prepare you for what you're going to play so you can get the most out of your time on the beta. I got really lucky. I got to play in both the beta. So I kind of want to pass whatever knowledge I uh, comprehended. What is that the word? retained that's probably the better word whatever i retained onto you guys with that said let's get into some tips so first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and exit full screen scroll down and check if you're subbed and now you can scroll back up and we can talk about this movement the movement was really hard for me to accept the first time i got on the beta because it just felt so sluggish and slow and it felt like i couldn't move my character the way that i wanted to and especially going from left and right i remember specifically on chun it felt like there was some inertia. Like if I was going too far to the left, trying to go right just felt like she was swinging her body around. And it was very unnatural and uncomfortable. I really didn't like it. I remember bringing it up to my friends a lot and complaining to them endlessly that I didn't like the movement in the game and it felt so sluggish. It just felt like there was input delay to me. But they told me that it, that's just what happens when you switch to a new Street Fighter game. That the speed of the game is different, the walk speed is different, and it's going to feel different for a little while because it's a different game. It's almost like these people who've been playing the game for 20 or 30 years uh, know a thing or two about the series. <laughs> but yeah, if you feel like the movement is weird when you first hop on, uh, don't think too hard about it. You'll, you'll get used to it. Let's talk about the characters you're gonna see and the ones you're gonna play. I think this graphic is missing Ken, by the way. Uh, but yeah, these are the seven characters you're gonna see plus Ken. Now we probably all have some idea of which character we wanna play at this point um, and whether they're one of the eight in the beta or not. I suggest you pick at least one that you just don't have any interest in playing. Or at play multiple characters, I guess is a better way to put it. Because during the beta, I was just going to play Chun and Jury because those are the only two characters I was really interested in. I ended up playing the entire second beta on Ryu because he was so cool. I, I never thought of playing Ryu. I've never wanted to play Ryu, but I picked him and I ended up playing him for like 15 hours. You will be pleasantly surprised with the level of depth that some of these characters have. Even the ones that are the most simple, like Ryu, have really cool conversions, really cool like power-up mechanics, things that you don't really uh, see the value of until you play them. I even played Ken during the second beta at some point. Uh, as Ken's biggest hater, I, I couldn't hate on him. He was too cool. I think it's because a lot of us go into the beta with an idea of what this character is supposed to be, what Ryu or what Guile is supposed to be, and you are pleasantly surprised by what they actually are. So give everybody a little bit of a playtest. You might go in a, a Kimberly player and end up a Guile player, or the other way around. I don't know. Let's talk a little bit about this rank system, because Capcom has set a trap for you that you might not have identified at all yet. I saw the downfall of many men, including myself, over on Twitter, because of this rank system they put in the beta. It's the rank system that'll be in the final game, but when you start queuing up, you get that little itch that you get from playing ranked in other games, and in like Street Fighter V, where you just wanna keep playing and getting more little badges and collecting more little stars, and you grind for the wrong reasons. And like you start you start playing because you want the, the rank badges in a damn beta, when you're supposed to just be testing things and like figuring out if things work and like messing around with characters and stuff. You start playing to win a lot more, which is really sad to say, but in a beta, if they put a rank system in there, you start wanting to play to win instead of to experiment and like get better. It's really sad. I I'm a victim, okay? I'm a victim. <laughs> I can warn you about the trap, but I can't stop you from stepping in it because I, I couldn't stop myself from stepping in it. Lastly, I need you to remember that it's a new game and I need you to remember that everybody learns at a different pace. And I'm going to project onto you a little bit. I'm going to project my insecurities onto you all a little bit for educational purposes. But sometimes you're going to see clips of people doing crazy things, of people getting crazy wins and win streaks and rank ups and things like that. And it's going to feel like you're perpetually falling behind the curve. It's going to feel like you're falling behind people. Um, perpetually, <laughs> but you need to understand that everybody learns at different paces and that you are learning faster than some people, but you're also learning slower than others. And if you start to try and chase the success of other people and you try and catch up to them, or you start to play solely to catch up to what other people are doing, it's going to suck the fun out of it. Okay. Don't suck the fun out of your experience. It's a beta. Have a good time and uh, don't get too far in your head about it. The worst thing you can do is rush the process. Trust me. 
that's the worst thing you can do for yourself. Anyways, I'm going to get back to practicing some of these Ryu combos and uh, hopefully I run into some of you on the beta. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll talk to you again very soon.